Hi guys, so I'm doing a declutter um, because I'm moving house soon. So I have a pile up here of like face stuff that I'm getting rid of. I've done that drawer already, so I'll pop a link to that video down in this one below and vice versa. But I have this drawer here, which has got eye stuff in it. So I'm just going to do exactly the same, sort it out and decide what I'm keeping and what I'm getting rid of. Um, this is not everything. I do have makeup bags. I didn't really specify that in the video for the foundation stuff and the face stuff. I do have bags with other stuff in and they'll be coming in a different video. This is purely makeup drawers of stuff that I've collected over the years and I'm going to sort through it all. So first of all, I'm going to show you my Z palette because I've already decided what I'm keeping and what I'm not. These are all sugar pill, so I'm keeping all of those. And these two are makeup geek, and I'm keeping those as well, even though this one is broke and I'm so upset. But everything that is in there now, I'm keeping. But I have decided to get rid of these shadows, so I thought I'd show them you. I have three Kiko, and there's this gold shade, a sort of black shade, and a grey shade. And it's simply because I don't use them. And then these three were by a YouTuber I like. I think it was like Wildcat Makeup or something like that. Um, they were really pretty shades, but I just don't reach for them. So they're all going. So I'm keeping my Z palette. Uh, let's work through this little tub first. So I have a W7 Delicious palette. This is like a dupe for the um, Anastasia Beverly Hills Modern Renaissance palette. Um, I haven't really properly given it a go, I've swatched it, so I'm gonna keep hold of this. This is a Kiko um, double-ended pencil. So you had like a cream side and a champagne side. I liked it, but I don't use it that much, so that's going, plus I lost the lid on it. Oh no! I have this dirty foundation brush, so I'm going to put that on the side to wash. Ah, so I just picked up the baby. Ooh. So, I have a... That's how I roll mascara. This is one of my favourite mascaras. It's all sealed, so I'm keeping that. Try and get in the wrong pile. I also have... Oh, that's from Barry M, by the way. This is another Barry M one. This is the Showgirl. I like this, but I feel like I've had it for a while, so... I'm just going to get rid of it. Another one. This is feature length. I've not had this as long, so I'm going to keep this one. That's by Barium as well. I really love their mascaras, by the way. I think they're some of the best. Um, this is Thick and Fast from Soap and Glory. Not a big fan of this, um, so it's going. On to some eyeliners. This is an Essence Grey long lasting one it's just one of those like mechanical ones um sorry i'm having to order this like one handed because no revolver wants to be held uh so yes that's that i think i might keep that one if i don't use it i'll get rid um soap and glory eyeliners i really like these um i have pretty much a lot of colors the i've got a black and a purple. I'm going to keep the purple because I've replaced the black recently. Um, because I've had the black for a while. Uh, this is a Jelly Pong Pong. I don't use it. I'll get rid of it. Barry M Gold. I'll keep that. Then I've got some more of the Soap and Glory colourful ones in blue and green. I'll keep those. Then what is this? Gosh Extreme Liquid Gel Liner in Silver. Nine months. I've had this a bit longer than nine months. We'll get rid of it. Last few things. I've got a NYX Tame and Frame. Oh, that's all dried up. Uh, so that's going. That's quite nice though. I do like that. But I use the NYX Micro Pencils now and the Soap and Glory Archery. So that's better um, i've got models own gel liner this is all dried up as well so that's going then i have two lit cosmetic glitters so they look like this i have ofra and beach baby i really like these so i'm going to keep them 
and I'm going to keep the glue for them as well. Uh, this is a barium glitter. It's sort of the perfect in between colour of those two that I've got from Glit, so I'll keep it for a bit and see how I feel about it. Then I have some Colourpop Super Shock Shadows. I have Hammered. So I've got four of these. I've Hammered, which is a beautiful colour. I'll just swatch these for you. So that's Hammered. I do like these, but I just, I don't use them. And because you can't depot them just because of the nature of the shadow, um, I'm going to get rid of them. That one is Nillionaire. I went mental for that one and then I never used it. Um, then I have, this is a matte one I think. Um, and it's in Hustle. Um, it's just got a bit of the Nillionaire glitter in there. If you see that. And the last one, I do like this. This was like, I used to use this in my crease all the time. This is Hanky Panky but... I can definitely feel that that has like dried up now and I can see it like around the edges but that is hanky panky there so I'm going to get rid of all of those because they're a bit old where's my wipes? got rid of all those the last things in this little tub are some magnets for in the Z palette I can keep those obviously I've got an Urban Decay shadow in midnight cowboy rides again this is gross and disgusting but this is like the original og packaging and i preferred this formula so much compared to the new formula of it but it's old so it's going then i have a makeup revolution metal foils these are kind of like the steeler ones so they have this like weird moussey texture and they don't they don't stick and they don't look like much at all when you just like finger swatch them so I'm just packing it on there for you but they do come with like this I just got it all over the tub now they do come with like this little mixing medium and you get like a tray and you mix it all together and it makes a really good eyeshadow so I'm going to keep that because it's great for like Christmas and stuff I like doing my inner corner and stuff with it so I've just got loads of glitter all over my hand now for those last two so these are what I'm keeping so far I'm going to put all of my eyeliner and stuff back in there and all of the shadows in there so I've got rid of a fair bit again so these are some palettes that I've got lying around. So this is a gosh one. It's a nine shadow in To Be Cool in Copenhagen. I I got this and I used a few shades. Not my favourite shades on me, which I should have guessed from like the cool tones, but I didn't. So it's gonna go. Then I have the Makeup Revolution. Shade and light, well, light and shade contour. I've done a video on this. It's like a dupe for um, the Cat One D one. I just don't reach for it. I use my Urban Decay Ultimate Basics palette more than this, so this is going. This is the Tarte Lip Tease palette, and it's just like a mini six. And I really like this. This and this are like my favourite shades. So I'm going to keep this one because I do use this a lot. Then I have something that I've never opened, um, so I might add this into my donations. Um, so this is Makeup Revolution highlighter palette sort of thing, and it's got like some eyeshadows and some highlighter things. So I'm going to put that in with stuff that I can donate because this hasn't been opened. Oh, Aurora's going to cry again. Um... Then I have the Revolution Fortune Favors the Brave. This was like done with the Brit, like, um, but uh, yeah, it was a collaboration with the British beauty blogger. And uh, I went nuts for this. And I liked it. 
but I just don't use it. Like, I liked all of these metallic shades, and I thought I'd really use these greens, and I do like the greens. I just, I don't reach for this palette because everything is so small in it, and like, stuff like, I don't know if this will pick it up, but like, some of them collected oil and just became unusable, and like, this bronzy colour here, I don't know if you're going to be able to see it, but there's like this weird film on it now, and just, same on this one here, like that's not part of like the duo-y, chrome -y kind of effect on them, so I'm just going to get rid of this, like it was nice palette, I think I have a swatch video of it, I'm not sure I'll link it if I do, but I just don't use it. So I have an eyelid packet with no lashes, so I'll keep the lash glue, get rid of that. I have these Enchanted After Dark Dark Forest Lashes. Um, these look really nice. I just need to snip them and then I'll be able to use them. So I'll keep those. The Too Faced Cat Eyes palette. I do use this a bit. I use these two colours a lot. And I use Tiger's Eye a lot. Is it worth me keeping? Probably not because I can get those colours elsewhere. So sorry Too Faced. You're going. I have a pair of Ardell Demi Wispy Lashes, so I'm going to keep those. This is a new palette. This is an MUA. Uh, what is this? This is Burning Embers palette. Blech. It's kind of filled with like lots of neutrals, and then you've got all this warm red tones. These like sort of glitter colours. These are amazing, like, they're really soft and creamy, and they're so pigmented, so, like, I'm keeping this because it's, like, a recent purchase, and I just think those metallics in there are amazing. Then I have some Mink Effect Cameo Lashes. Um, I quite like these. Um, these are, like, three-quarter ones, so I don't have to trim these down, and they fit me great. I'm going to keep those. This is a Makeup Revolution palette. This is the Acid Brights. I got this because I really wanted um, to use bright colours. And the colour that I used the most was this colour here. Um, but I'm not going to keep this whole palette just for that colour. Although I do really like it. So maybe I can find myself a similar colour in a single somewhere. Um, so I'm going to get rid of that. The last thing is these Kitty Lashes from Rosie B. These are Eyelo lash Lashes and these and the Fle Fleur de Force three quarter lashes are possibly my favourite lashes to wear. They're so comfy so I'm going to keep these ones. And then last but not least I have a very old and tatty eyelash curler. I'm just going to get rid of that because I've got a new one. So... Yeah, I don't think I've done too bad on my overall decluttering. So I'm going to put all of this back in my collection. I'm going to put that in with like stuff to donate, like I said. Um, yeah, and that's all of that done. Oh, that doesn't fit in. Why don't you put it in? So, out of like two drawer fill. I've got this left, which is pretty good. Um, so yeah, that's a successful declutter for me. Um, so I'll see you in the next one. The next one should have like lipsticks and then I'm gonna do skincare and probably my two everyday makeup bags that I use. Um, so don't forget to subscribe so you can see those coming up as well. And I'll see you all soon in my next video. Bye.